Our investigators from the Special Investigating Unit and the Hawks will this morning raid the offices of the Matlosana local municipality in the northwest. This relates to their investigation into tender irregularities during the procurement of personal protective equipment. The SIU was forced to obtain an interdict to seize critical documentation after the municipality ignored a number of requests for the information to be handed over. For more, let's now cross live to our reporter, Silwane Khaou. Silwane, I hear you're with Mr. Kaiser Khanyaho. Good morning, Desiree. That's correct. In fact, we've been out here since around half past seven in the morning and the situation hasn't really changed for these employees that you see right here behind me. It has not been a normal working day for them as they've been outside since uh, half past seven in the morning. They were told that they should not uh, go to their offices as yet as uh, see the uh, SIU and also the Hawks are here for their search and seizure. We're just going to speak again to the spokesperson of the SIU, Mr. Keza Khanyaho. Sir, thank you very much. So far, how is the search and seizure going? Thank you very much. I think so far the search and seizure is going very well. We are getting the cooperation that we need from the acting municipal manager, and we are also getting all the documents and equipment that we are waiting for. Mm. We saw um, some documents being seized, of course, uh, by members of the SIU in boxes. What are some of the things that you confiscated? So far we got from the building the personnel files. We also got computers from certain people that we have identified in our search and seizure. We are waiting, for example, from the computer from the CFO who has to finalize the payment of, of salaries before that is taken because we consider it that we cannot take it before that process is done. And we are also having some of our members at the other office in Stelfontaine where they are getting documents from the SCM office. And then we are also dealing with uh, other information the, the, from the CFO, CFO's office. Mm. Earlier on, uh, Mr. Khanyaho, during the media briefing that was held by the uh, municipality, we heard the acting municipal manager saying that it, so far as it goes, they are not uh, uh, quite certain that you know anything will be found on them. In fact, what they're saying is that as far as we know, there's no wrongdoing that has been done from our side, our officials, but you guys believe that you've got a, a strong case here. But definitely, we would not even have been able to convince the magistrate because for us to do a search and seizure, we don't just wake up and come here. We go and do an application with the magistrate and we did the application yesterday with the magistrate here in Tlaxdorp. And the magistrate was convinced and that's why the magistrate was able to sign. Therefore, we would not have signed if we just was just speculation on our part. Therefore, the allegations that we come with are, are tested and we have got to then make sure that we get the documents to support the allegations. Yeah. For some of our viewers who may have missed our earlier crossing, let's just bring them up to speed as to what some of those allegations are in short. Yeah, there are allegations that the procurement process in relation to procurement of PPE was not done properly and it was given to friends and family and then there's also indication that most of those uh, processes uh, or, or those uh, invoices were inflated much higher than what the regulation from Treasury was saying. Therefore, those are the allegations that we are looking into and that certain officials yeah, benefited out of this. Mm. You know, one thing that has been quite odd for many of us here is that we heard that today, just today only, the municipal manager uh, will not be coming in office, that he took leave for this particular day. Do you maybe think it's odd? Do you think maybe he could have heard uh, about this uh, search and seizure somewhere? Well, let's hope that he, no, uh, there wasn't anybody who tipped him. Maybe it's a genuine matter that he is addressing to, he's, he's dealing with, but it is very odd that it happens exactly on this day and they did not know that we are coming this morning. Yeah. When we talk about figures, we know that um, you were saying that you're looking at about 47 million uh, rand maybe involved in the procurement of PPEs here. But the municipality earlier on was saying, and as far as we understand, we could not have possibly spent even more than 3 million. What do you uh, have to say about that? No, I heard that and, and we have indicated that the value of the contracts that we are looking into is that amount because we are looking at specific contracts and specific contractors that received uh, invoices from here. Like already we know that there is one official who has given out about 22 contracts 
Therefore, the, all that information we have, we are not just speculating. We are working on, on the basis of facts that are on the table. Thank you very much, Mr. Khanyakho. That is the spokesperson of the SIU, Keza Khanyakho, saying that in as much as the municipality is saying that they are not uh, aware of any wrongdoing that could have happened here, they are quite certain that they've got a watertight case against the municipality. We'll still be out here at Desiree keeping an eye on the situation and as to any developments, we will definitely be keeping you updated. Studio, we hand back to you for now. Silwane Khakhao there for you.